Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. We are given the following two times two matrix. Its entries are one, minus two, three, and minus four. And our goal is to determine the eigenvectors and for this also the eigenvalues of and in order to do so we have to look at the characteristic polynomial which is P A of lambda and this is defined as the determinant a minus lambda times the two times two identity matrix. It becomes three times three if we have a three times three matrix and so on. So because we have a two times two matrix, we have a two times two identity matrix here. And let's calculate it. And now I will write some strict lines here to make it easier. So we have the matrix one minus two, three minus four minus the matrix lambda zero zero lambda. And then the closing line here. So this is one minus lambda minus two, three minus four minus lambda. And then straight lines, meaning that we need to determine the, meaning that we need to calculate the determinant of this two times two matrix. And there's a formula on it to do so. We have to take the product of the first and the last entry and subtract from this, the product of the remaining two entries here. So this means we have to multiply one minus lambda times minus four minus lambda. And then we need to subtract minus six, which means we add plus six here. And by simplifying this term, we get lambda squared plus three lambda plus two. So this is our characteristic polynomial and the eigenvalues are the zeros of this characteristic polynomial. So we set P A lambda to zero, which means lambda squared plus three lambda plus two equals zero. And there are plenty of formulas to determine the zeros of the polynomial of degree two. I prefer the following one. So lambda one, two equals minus three over two plus minus the square of three over two squared minus two. So from this, it follows lambda one equals minus three over two plus one half, which is minus one and lambda two equals minus three over two minus one over two, which is minus two. So there we have it our two eigenvalues minus one and minus two. And now the goal is to determine the eigenvectors or even the eigenspace related to the eigenvalues. So, so as we need some space here, let's take a new page for this. Just in general, the eigenspace of a certain eigenvalue lambda i of the matrix A is exactly the kernel of a minus lambda i times the identity matrix b2. For lambda 1 equals minus 1, we have eigenspace of minus 1 of a equals the kernel of a plus i2 which is the kernel of two minus two, three minus three. And you can see immediately that both row vectors are linear independent from each other, right? So the first row times 1.5 results into the second row. 
So this means the kernel of this matrix is exactly the kernel of 2, minus 2, 0, 0. Apart from this, we can see that given lambda any real number, 2 times x minus 2y equals 0, which means x equals y. So the kernel and the eigenspace of a to the eigenvalue minus 1 equals the span of the vector 1, 1. Yeah? So y was any real number here. And in case y is fixed, x must be exactly y. So this is a one-dimensional kernel, meaning it is spanned by the vector 1, 1. And you can try it out. So multiplying 1, 1 as a vector with this matrix results into the same vector times minus 1, which is our eigenvalue. You can try it out and then check whether this is true. This brings us to the next eigenspace to the eigenvalue minus 2. And exactly similar, we have the kernel of a plus 2 times the identity matrix, which here gives us the kernel of 3 minus 2, 3 minus 2. And exactly, you can see both rows are linear independent from each other, meaning we can cancel out the second one. So the kernel of this matrix is exactly the same one as the kernel of the matrix 3, minus 2, 0, 0. And then assuming y is any real number, we have 3 times x minus 2y equals 0, which is equivalent to x equals 2 over 3y. And assuming y is any real number, x must be the product of that real number y and 2 over 3. So our eigenspace for the eigenvalue minus 2 and our matrix A is the span of the vector 2, 3. Yeah? So you get it when multiplying, so you get it when inserting 3 here for y and observe that x must be 2 in this case. The eigenspace is one dimensional because our kernel is one dimensional. You can see it here uh, from, from this matrix where we have the rank equals to 1. So the kernel must be also 1 in this two dimensional. You see from here because the rank was 1 and as we have a 2 times 2 matrix, the kernel must be of dimension 1 as we have found already one vector inside this kernel, which is 2, 3. It is already generating the whole kernel and therefore also the whole eigenspace. You can check it. So um, try it out. Multiply your matrix A with this vector and you see that you will always result in the same vector times minus 2. And this is also true for each vector inside the span. Same for the first eigenspace. So you can choose to take 1, 1 as a vector but also check the same statement for, for example, 5, as a vector which is inside this span here. So with this we have determined both eigenvalues minus 1 and minus 2 for the matrix A and for each of these eigenvalues we have also determined the eigenvectors and therefore the eigenspaces. If you have any questions please comment down below. If you are interested into more videos like this please consider subscribing this channel. This will really help us grow and you will be notified and you will know about future videos like this. Thank you and see you next time.